Hi, I'm Jeff Paul, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. Today, we're going to be talking about BCAAs. What are they and what do they do? Let's jump right into it. Amino acids. What are amino acids? Well, proteins are broken down in our body into amino acids, and there are essential amino acids. These are the ones, these nine essential amino acids are the ones we need to get from food. All the rest of the amino acids, there are 20 amino acids we can make in our own body. So those nine essential ones include three specific amino acids that have a unique branched chain uh, structure. That's why they're called branched chain amino acids. They're leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So when we look at different studies looking at the effects of uh, whey compared to rice protein, they found that there were no differences between the groups. As you can see in the first study, the effects of eight weeks of whey or rice protein supplementation on body composition and exercise performance. In the second study, with pea proteins being compared to whey protein, they actually did find a difference. <laughs> and it was pea protein that was actually about 33% more muscle building than whey. So why is that possible and why was that? Okay, first let's look at the studies and how much protein did they actually use in it. And they used 48 grams of rice protein and in the pea study, they used 50 grams of pea protein. So that jumps out at me and says, well, why did the researchers use so much protein in the studies? And so much plant protein particularly? Well, there's actually a really good reason for that. So why use the high amount of plant protein versus whey protein? Well, this is from the rice study, the researchers in the rice study, as you can see below. However, at higher doses, both plant and animal proteins have reached the amount of leucine needed to optimize muscle protein synthesis, resulting in no differences between the groups. So as you can see on the chart on the right, that leucine is higher in whey protein than it is in pea, rice, or soy. So let's look at the next slide, and this will help you understand why this is. So we now know there's a thing called the leucine threshold. See that line being drawn right through the middle of the graph? That's the leucine threshold. So we now know that the body needs X amount of protein to optimize mu muscle protein synthesis or maximize the amount of muscle that the body can generate from the amino acids. If it's below that, you're not gonna reach maximal muscle growth or stimulation. If you consume more than that threshold, well, it's not gonna make any difference. The body won't build any more muscle or maximize any more muscle protein synthesis. That's why it's called the threshold. Below it, you don't get enough uh, muscle stimulation to uh, completely optimize your growth. Anything above it is just wasted. If you look on the right on the graph, you can see 25 grams of whey, 25 grams of soy, and 25 grams of rice. You can see the whey protein, because it's naturally higher in leucine, hit that threshold. That's why a smaller amount of whey protein is actually all that's needed. Once you do a higher amount of uh, leucine and whey protein, you're not really getting any more muscle protein synthesis. It's just wasted protein or actually turning into calories for you at that point. Whereas you consume a bit more like 48 grams of rice or 50 grams of soy that were used in those two studies, uh, P in this case, then you get the leucine threshold high enough where it equalizes it. The plant protein stimulates just as much muscle growth as the animal-based proteins do because the leucine has just jumped up. So that means including a lot more intake, a little bit more higher intake of, of the plant proteins in order to reach that leucine threshold. That's one way you could do it, just simply eat more of the protein, but that puts you into a much higher protein intake, which means higher calories, because with it comes higher fiber, higher carbohydrates, higher every higher fats generally, higher amounts of total calories. Well, what if you could just increase the leucine without having to add all that extra protein? Well, what would happen? Well, that was actually shown in this study. What if you just added the BCAs to the plant protein, therefore increasing the leucine to the leucine threshold without having to increase the amount of total amount of protein you intake? Well, sure enough, 
muscle protein synthesis was 33% greater after the consumption of leucine with your proteins, essential amino acids, and then consumption of just essential amino acids or proteins. So the whole body breakdown synthesis was lower and oxidation was greater, which meant that there was better turnover. You're actually utilizing and keeping and maintaining more of the muscle, not just muscle protein synthesis. So benefits all the way across the board, showing that just by adding the leucine or the branch chain amino acids to a protein or essential amino acids, you increase the muscle protein synthesis. So that's a really important thing. That's, what, that's how you can actually increase it but the benefits are multifaceted. This study actually showed that just taking uh, four grams of leucine in a day, uh, five rep gains in strength, up to 24% increase strength gains. So increasing muscle protein synthesis, which is muscle gains and muscle size, but also increasing muscle strength too as well. And it gets better. <laughs> BCAs also have been shown to actually uh, help with uh, fat loss. That's right. So you're preserving muscle, you're increasing muscle protein synthesis, and you're reducing body fat. This is why BCAs have become so popular, because they're helping you achieve strength gains, muscle size gains, and lowering body fat all in one. This is basically why we work out. And these uh, amino acids can help you reach your goals. That's why I love them, especially for anybody over 50. I'm over 60 and I can still keep 17 inch arms at 60, completely natural and drug free, simply by using the right nutrition, including BCAs. Check out my video on, on our YouTube channel at Clean Machine Online. I go into deep dives into BCAs as well as check out my El Beba video. So one of the three branch chain uh, amino acids is called valine. Valine is converted in our body to another amino acid called El Beba. El Beba triggers three different pathways of fat burning. So now you can actually help your body burn fat through your body's own natural processes just by giving it the precursors, this BCAs, that'll help the body trigger that fat burning process, especially if you're working out. Um, so all of our BCAs are certified vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free. They are uh, third party certified vegan, and we have them in four different flavors, fruit punch, lemonade, watermelon, and for those who wanna add it to say a chocolate protein post-workout, you, we have an unflavored for you too as well. Don't use the unflavored with water. BCAs unflavored have a natural bitter taste to it. Um, so it, don't use them in water unless you're just wanting to reduce your amount of calories and just want to keep it pure and simple. Or if you're adding it to a protein shake, it pretty much disappears. But that's why we have the fruit punch, the lemonade, and the uh, watermelon BCAs, my personal favorite. So there's a couple of different ways you can use BCAs. Many people use BCAs uh, prior to the workout to help with uh, reduce muscle loss and to help um, in fat burning process. And then you can use them post-workout with your protein to help increase that muscle protein synthesis. Remember, get that leucine up to the th threshold so that you can maximize muscle protein synthesis, increasing your strength gains. And then, of course, you can use it at bedtime uh, for post-workout uh, recovery. Remember, while you sleep, that's where most of the recovery, the healing, the repairing, the muscle building actually takes place while you're sleeping and resting. Want to make sure you have enough of those amino acids in the system so the body can properly repair, replace, and build muscle. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something from uh, this about BCAs. And I hope you feel confident that our BCAs are the best tasting and cleanest natural vegan BCAs on the market. Thanks.